monitor for you. First, let me bring it up here. I'm sweating. So I can, because I'm going to show this to the audience <laughs> so too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like so this. So you're going to want to kind of do, like, you can adjust the size of the video mm -hmm. so that you can see Mary and. Oh, I got to do that whole thing? Yeah. Because mm. we want to see Mary's reaction. That's a lot. Yeah, I know. Okay. Like, I'm like this? I'm like nervous. Right, hold on. I'm not even. Well, grab the, grab the red part. Grab the red part. Yeah. <laughs> like, like ah. you gotta resize it. Hold on, I know. I'm, uh -huh. There we there go, like go. that. Yeah, yes, there you go. Then, yeah, but nobody's gonna see that. Like that? That's good. That'll work. <laughs> ah. And Mary scoot over. Uh huh. Right there. Let's Perfect. frame frame there this go. properly. Oh God, I have to turn. It. Oh, I'm not looking at the YouTube. Man. Oh, is it what already pulled up on YouTube or something? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm I can't showing see it. Here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hold on. I can't look at it. Okay. Is this more foot fungus? Mm. Just wait. Oh, You're going to find out right now. Hold on. Hold on. It's got nice music. Oh, come on, dude. What is that? What is that? It looks fake. It looks really... Fungus doesn't grow like that. I like the music. It, it puts you at ease. It's calming. This is fake. Fungus doesn't grow like that. <gasps> How do you know fungus oh. grows? Oh. Oh. What happened to his skin? No, this is fake. Get out of there! Looks so comfortable now, right? Actually, that's kind of satisfying. Yeah, it gets buffed. Ooh, there you go. That's so but here's nice. the thing. I think that was a fake video. Because skin doesn't peel like that. I, but it is dirty in those cracks. Have you He's ever a seen dirty crack. a ram's horn toenail before, too? <laughs> yeah, but but that skin peeled off too cleanly right, but in it's, one piece. But like the way it was underneath, around, that's what I don't think, think that was. was real. Okay, well. That's because why it's Mary X. We never know how you're going to react. <laughs> well, Today you're skeptical. What that looked like, like was I'm like they puke put. It's not real. It looked like they put like glue with yellow food coloring in it because when they pulled it out, it wasn't pussy or mucusy or anything. You it came off real right. clean. Pussy wrong. Um, listen, <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned, is that the internet rarely misleads you. Believe Whatever me. you see, you can believe. Listen. Trust your eyes. That's how I am. I live my life based off of what the internet tells me. Uh -huh. I found it on TikTok. It's got to be real. It's got to be true. But yeah, I don't think that's real. Okay, I could have eaten a sandwich before that. During? Well, no. I mean, that's the next level of Mary X. She has to eat while she's <laughs> eating one of those. Uh, but it eat has while to she's be... watching one. Yeah, also, like if, if it's It's good to kill, earn her trust a little bit, so next time we oh, can really push the envelope. Mm -hmm. Like you watch a rat get squished and I have to eat spaghetti. Or oh, somebody, like, getting bisected by a train or something like that. Well, that's <laughs> you know, like, well, well, really, yeah, we'll really ratchet it up. I don't know. Or something super, super gross, like a... Like a Browns play or something. Yeah, yeah, that would make me sick. Yeah. <gasps> so you have to eat a banana and a sandwich. I don't have to. That's just what I brought for lunch. I see. Banana and a sandwich. Hmm. Our bananas are turning brown quickly. So normally Brian takes one to work every day. But well, we you got to go, go for the smoothies. Yeah, we got to double up. Yeah. Well, I don't have anything else to put in the Do smoothie. you buy them green? Well, ish. Because buy he buys green. them Sunday for the week. So they're kind of green. But really, you're only good days. But he bought these ones like Friday, I think, or Thursday. I like my bananas crunchy. They're gross. I like them super, super not ripe. Paluck. That's what puck. I like. That's uh, the Filipino word for that. What is? Paluck puck. Paluck puck mm -hmm. is super green banana? It's like a, yeah, like an unripe banana. What is a ripe banana called? Sagin. Sagin? Sagin. So there are two separate words for a ripe well, and non-ripe banana. It, it, it's always a banana, yeah. but when it's... Oh, that's the adjective. That's the adjective to gotcha. describe it, yeah. So if I go, that banana is paluck luck. Paluck puck. Paluck puck. Mm -hmm. That banana is paluck puck. You're so white. I'm banana, not Filipino. Paluck puck banana. Yeah, I'm not Filipino. Por so. favor. And they're like, that's I'm, not. I'm learning from him. He's my Rosetta Stone over here. I also don't think they say por favor that's in the Philippines, do they? Yeah. Why but uh, we're all learning together. And that's really the important part is that that happens. Oh, what a sweet coat. That was a bright pink. Feathery coat. Big feathery furry thing. Uh, so, okay. I'd say five out of ten on that Mary Acts. 
Well, because I gross, didn't, I didn't but, think it was real. Mm. That's why. Okay. But yeah, thank you for that. Ellen, there's a video of a guy eating a shotgun of uh, Facebook Live in 2020. Uh, do you mean like with a fork and knife, or you mean he shot cake? himself in the face? <laughs> it's dude, all cake. I love those videos. It's just so cool. There's this dude on Instagram and TikTok who is, he's got millions and millions of followers because of what he can do with chocolate. He is like a- Oh, yeah, I've seen some Dude, the stuff. things that this guy creates out of chocolate, like a full dragon in the way that he, it's totally <laughs> when insane. When he's making the dragon, it looks like a penis for it a definitely good does. <laughs> portion of it. And I think that's the one that put him on the map because it looks like he's making this- Chocolate Eight penis? foot chocolate penis, and then it's like, but it's a dragon. I do not know how to say his name. Amari Guichon? 19.8 million you. followers on TikTok. Because he's yeah. making uh, chocolate stuff? But he makes, but it's crazy. Like a sports car, a rabbit, a tiger, like these huge, giant. He's a sculptor giant, that uses chocolate. As yeah. His Beautiful sculptures. A phoenix. Look how- at this elephant. Oh, you can't see it there. But like in the little, right there. Mm-hmm. Like a four-foot elephant made out of chocolate. So everything he makes is 100% edible. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, but how do you have Is it f- cruelty-free chocolate? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Is there any that's cruelty-free? <laughs> that's my question. There's so much cruelty in that four-foot elephant. How do you have a freezer big enough to house stuff like that? Well, because this is what he does. It's not a guy in his you house. You got a walk-in cooler, too. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, He's but like, that, that not big enough for like a dragon and a and an elephant and stuff like that. Like I understand the. Well, he keeps his ro- the room. I mean, it's not ice cream. Yes, but it's still chocolate, and chocolate melts. Yeah, but it's you can turn on the air conditioner and keep the room around sixty five degrees, and it's not going to melt. Just imagine like licking that thing. Like you want to enjoy your work. Three hundred eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pound cake's very. Uh, he's um he's guided by his senses, right? He goes to a museum and he wants to sniff the chair. Somebody makes an amazing work of art out of chocolate. He wants to lick it. Who wouldn't want to lick it? I don't want to lick a chocolate sculpture. You're not. Right, because the sculpture. That's just me. It doesn't, like, it looks amazing, but it's like modeling chocolate. It's been worked over and molded and modeled. And I was a stupid kid and I never knew that sugar came in cubes. Like, so we had to work with sugar cubes one year. Um, You and Bjork? No, we had to build ziggurats, um, mm-hmm. and I, for whatever reason, thought it would be a fun idea to then eat the sugar cube ziggurats. And you a horse? Eat the whole thing? I ate the whole thing <sighs> and the glue with it. Just like they did in ancient Mesopotamia. Boy, was I sick. That was probably one of the sickest things I've ever done. Yeah, but you knew it was pure compressed sugar. Why would you eat? How old were you? Uh-huh. Why would you eat all of it just because it was sugar? It, yeah, it was sugar. It, it was edible, so anything that's edible, you kind of want to Anything eat. that's edible, you ate. Yeah. Hmm. I, but, I, again, I ate the glue that was glued attached, like, that was attached to it as well, so... Hey, what glue? But you didn't see any of the other kids eating their ziggurat, right? So you go, No, this hey. was at home. Oh, at home. So I had already... So I made the ziggurat, turned it into class. What is that? What? A ziggurat. Ain't... These structures that they made that were kind of like pyramids, but they had different levels on them. And it, it's you, a, it's, think of a pyramid with just no no pointy top. It's yeah, just it's like, just uh, kind of like like the Mayans like a stepped tower kind of. And, and then you were licking it. He was making it out of sugar cubes, <laughs> and he took it home, and he goes, "Well, this is all sugar. I should just eat it." <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, they the, made the glue edible for kids like that. Yes, so. well, I got, right. I got the. Grade. I bet if it had been made out of uh, carrots, you wouldn't have eaten it. I maybe I would have, mm. but like I, we got the grade and then we took it home, so it had to be sitting out for you know maybe at least a day or two, and then I was like, well, I'm not gonna throw it away. It's sugar, like it's edible, it's fun, it's candy, and so I ate it and I just stayed by that by the toilet the entire night. Hmm. And w- did you get in trouble with your mom? I don't think she knew. I don't think I told her, because normal kids would just throw away that zero. Ziggurat. Yeah. Were you also the kid that would eat the gingerbread house that you made at Christmas, like in February? We never made. We weren't a gingerbread house. Like, like we I were. make one of those every year with my daughter, and they're fun to look at, but you never eat them. You eat it while you're they, making it. You'll like throw a mint in here, have some icing there. They, you know, it gets to be like the day we're taking the tree down. I go, say goodbye to this house. She's like, oh, I go, no, none of this is going in your mouth. You know, it was fun to look at. And nope. It never. seems wasteful, but 
People are telling me that guy has a show on Netflix. Oh, really? Called School of Chocolate. Well, well he clever. he has a a thing where you can sign up to be a like student of his, so mm-hmm. that makes sense then. But yeah, it's like check him out. He does some crazy things with with chocolate. Alan, don't tell Pound Cake about baking chocolate. Oops, I just did. I just did. And I already regret it. I got a break. If you want to text 35192, another $1,000 for you about 20 minutes from now, 3.30, that next keyword coming to go fund yourself. Mm-hmm. Want to get some hockey under your belt? I will have Cleveland Monsters tickets for you. They're playing on Valentine's Day. The Romo Fee Hogan.